Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Tosca Obstacle Series. So this is an interesting one in which you have a huge table in front of you in which you got to find uh, after clicking on show change cell, uh, this table will change one of the values and we have to find it using Tosca. What is the value? Okay. Now what it is saying is uh, once you find the value, you can put this manually. There is no need to automate this particular step. Okay. So pause this video for a second, think about how you'll do that and then watch the remaining video for the solution. Okay, so let's get started. I will go to my module section. I'll fire up my scan. So there is one uh, new concept if you're not already aware uh, in case of Tosca, which is called a baseline comparison, which is usually helpful in these kind of scenarios. So I'll showcase that. First of all, I'll just capture this particular item and I'll capture the table. So two things only I need. It's, since the table is huge, it is taking some time to load. So we'll just wait for it to get loaded. Okay. So we got this uh, here. We have table. If I go to table and I click on highlight section. Okay it is going to the table so i'll just select this and i have to select this as well show change table so i'll just capture this as well okay and i'll just make sure that uh, uh, i'll probably put a wildcard here so that it, it works every time and i'll click on ok i'll just change this value to the obstacle number and i'll save this so our module is ready i will move our module to the test cases so i'll drag and drop to the test cases section in the obstacle and here i'll just quickly rename this okay we are good to get started so if you see in order to compare these two values okay the tables are similar but just that one value is going to change okay so in order to compare both the tables we have to create a reference okay so in that case uh, Tosca provides inbuilt feature. So if I go to the table, okay, and if you go into the test cases on the top, you will see this option called create baseline. So basically, this is what helps us to create a baseline. So if I go to this and I click on this create baseline, what it will do is it will run once to capture whatever is there in the table. So we are seeing the original table. It is right now running and capturing all the values in that. So it will create that as a base table. Now, whatever the next table or whatever it is, it is going to compare against that. And if there are any changes, it is going to showcase us. Okay. So we'll see that uh, this will take a bit of time because our table is very huge. Uh, so it is actually picking up each and every value and saving it. In case you need to like you decide once the baseline and you want to update it, you can again do the same thing. You can again run and take the baseline. But this is usually how uh, you find the difference between two tables in case of Tosca. So we'll just wait for this to get completed. Just FYI, uh, there are a lot of other videos on my channel related to Tosca. In case of obstacle, I have a lot of videos. Uh, we, I have interview questions, uh, full tutorial series. So do check out my channel. Uh, do a like share and subscribe in case you like the content and we'll just wait for this to get completed okay so our baseline is completed and if i go here you will see this uh, populated baseline successfully created if i click on ok uh, you will see the stable compare being auto populated and it comes as verify. Okay. Now our problem statement is I have to click on this and then another table will populate and I have to find the difference. Okay. So nothing much needs to be done here. I can just uh, drag and drop or maybe copy paste this thing again. And I'll move this up. I will remove this because we have to only click on show change table so i will pass a click here okay 
now we should be good to run this so I'll execute this now it will click on show change table so on the top if you will notice uh, the original table is going to change into change table and now it is going to perform the comparison for each and every block what is there if everything is matching then our test case will pass but if if any difference is there our test case will fail and it will point out where exactly it failed so as part of this automation problem statement we have to just find the difference and then put that value in the respective columns which we see on the right hand side row column original value change value and then click on submit so that needs to be done manually as part of this problem statement so uh, we'll see the output and we'll try to enter the values and see if it is working fine or not so whenever you have bigger tables like this it is going to take some time to do the comparison so we'll just wait for it to get completed okay so perfect our script failed this is what we were expecting now we'll go back to the run and here if i maximize this i go to my obstacle uh, see the first step is passed because we were just clicking on the show change table but the second step failed verification has failed if i open this and here if you see it is saying this particular column has changed in row 61 was modified expected is this and actual is this okay so i'll quickly capture this in a notepad because we have to enter that manually and i'll go back to my uh, problem statement so the row is this i'll copy paste i'll copy the row and i'll paste it here and I'll take the column, uh, sorry about that, row is 61, column is this, original value is this, and actual value is this. Now, you will notice when you'll do this and you'll click on submit, it is not actually solved correctly. So what the issue is happening here is, so basically any table which you will see will have a header right so in this particular table the header does not exist there is no specific header but uh, in in cases the header exists it will start from here one okay so that's why our row number will increase by one so if i put 62 here and i click on submit our automation problem is solved uh, thank you very much. I will find you in the next video with the next automation obstacle. Have a great day. Bye-bye.